and as usual, welcome to the lab. Right, let's excuse the state of the floor, there's a bit of a mess on it because I'm in the middle of working on the Vectrex, just waiting for some capacitors to come along and then hopefully we can put that back together and fix it. But in the meantime, we've went to a uh, local coastal town called South Shields. Uh, some people locally may know it. We've been to the port of town and stuff, but there has appeared a British Heart Foundation charity shop that actually sells, which is rare for in this country, sells electricals. Now most charity shops do not sell electricals now because of, you know, daft rules and killing people if they go wrong. But this one actually does. And uh, we needed a standalone DVD player. Uh, we haven't got any Blu-rays yet, but we've got wanted a new DV uh, standalone DVD player. And well, we ain't got a load of money, so we said we can either buy a cheap and nasty one, or we saw this one for eleven pounds fifty p. And it is a, a pioneer, a proper stacking pioneer DV six two six D. Nice from the late nineties. Uh, and you see, it's proper full size stacker. Has. A lot of outputs including digital, SCART, uh, all the usual stuff, S video, even digital out. It was £20 down to uh, down to £11.50. Now these were a fair few pennies when they were new. And, uh, okay, I'll get you quid, I think. Might be wrong, but uh, get on to 300 quid. So first things first, when we take it downstairs, let's see. Uh, well, it's been part tested. Let's see if we have power. So, da -da 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 -da, power on. Stop mode, no disc. Ah, uh, where's the ejectment? Where's the ejectment? Well, we have power. We have a huge DVD tray. Wow. So, so far, it seems to work. These don't have this one doesn't have a remote control with it but we're not going to be using it for anything fancy so we just hit press play and pause and stop and all that on here don't really matter too much does it really but we want one of these prices so that's one of them and oops <laughs> for video and got a little cheap video player but we thought we'd get something as video players are now becoming quite rare I thought we'd find, as we saw this, I thought we'd grab this, so we go and do a video player, that's going to last a while, hopefully quite a while. Uh, and this, my geeky friend, is a Ferguson Video Star, and these were top end players when they were new. This one weighs an absolute ton. Uh, Again, SCART, RF out, aerial, tuning signal. I uh, can't find any manufactured in Singapore. Oh, excuse me, manufactured in Singapore. Can't find any sort of date code or anything yet. But, uh, let's do a basic power test before we take these two downstairs and plug them into the TV and do a full test. Does this thing have power? Oh yeah, oh look at that. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Eject, nothing in, obviously. Play, needs a cassette. Oh, let's see right in there. Oh, I can't see. There we go. Now this one also doesn't come with it. <laughs> it comes without no, a controller. But again, we're not gonna be using this to record anything. Uh, that's just to play the old video cassettes and yes things like that so we don't really need the controller but should we need to control it full controls in the front there so let's take them downstairs and uh, plug them in and see what we got okay a few minutes later I've got them loosely set up in the uh, in the yeah the lounge now as you can hear DVD the DVD player but now you have has no issues. High you can't use the menus in the DVD, but uh, yeah. 
maybe they'll find a universal remote or a remote for it at some time. The tech player has uh, has its own problems. Let me demonstrate. If I just press stop on this, knock the DVD player off. Now we have tapes in there. And just swap this around. Now, what do we have? When we press play, I'll just eject so we can do this right from the beginning. Carriage seems to work fine, earth and eject, fast forward, rewind, all happily working. When it does play, there's no signal. That's where you get is that flash and then there's nothing, even if you're fast forwarding. Or rewinding, no picture. And this is going through SCART, I've not been able to try it on the aerial, but we do know the SCART leads work because that's what I'm using in the other one. So what I'm going to do is uh, take the top off, let you have a quick look in there in case you can spot anything obvious, and then uh, see if anybody can come up with some advice on uh, how to uh, get that working. They do, do come with a six months uh, warranty, but before we uh, start sending them back, I prefer to have them f to try and fix them myself. So. That's what I'll do, I'll take it back to the lab and uh, we'll have a look inside. I've removed it! That's even made my wife smile. Geeks, aren't we? I'll be back. Okay, this is some time later. So, going to need advice on this one. It is different when you use it to be able to show you that in the meantime. Uh, here's all in the mechanism for anybody who knows about these things. There's the believe is the reed head. Uh, not sure, but I think that's the right head, isn't it? I don't know about these things. I'm going to be doing some research though. Uh, this thing has a lot of capacitors and shit. Did I swear then? Yes, I did. Hang on. Uh, yes, there's this board which goes over the top. So it just got propped up out of the way at the moment. So, there we go, look at that. Whoa. Don't know what's caused that. Don't know. But it all looks healthy enough, if a little bit dirty. Now, on the older tally upstairs here, i just put the screwdriver in here to uh, hold that out of the way because this sits right up above the heads, which is not ideal for servicing. Uh, right, so if I put my tape in, along the way here, accepts it nicely, takes the tape around the heads. On the screen on the older TV here, uh, we do get an image. Be <laughs> it fuzz. Uh, if we fast forward, yes, we can see it fast forwarding at the different levels and Press rewind, that slows it down. Excellent. But now it's going into reverse. See everything's. So, what could this be? Could this be a tracking issue? Uh, just in case it is, I'll give you a close look at the drum. What's the drum working there? Is something to do with balancing, tracking? I'm not an expert on these systems, but yeah, I'll show you around there. Tape going from part to part, around the head, around that head, passing that head. Now if there's a tracking issue, I do not know how to work these things, so... I'm looking for advice. Everything else on this seems to work right. Uh, pause. Yep, still reading. I'm getting a static image. So it is something to do with tracking or that head. But this is the first real time I've been in a video recorder, so not an expert. Uh, play away. Play, 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 play. 
I'm just plain away and sort of image. So if I didn't know any better, I'd say this is something to do with tracking. Now it does have a tracking control here on the front, but hmm, no track. Track zero. Uh, how do we? Sorry about this bad bloody track workmanship here. Right, track. There's got to be a plus and minus here. Uh, so track zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's now. That's gone from track plus seven to track minus seven, and uh, no improvement. So it's something to do with that head, I imagine. I'm not an expert, but yes, yeah, you can have a good look around case you know what we're dealing with here I'll just eject mm -hmm. and you can have a look so they're all the mechanism staff so I don't think it's anything to do with them these are the heads here could it be they need bloody good clean if so how do you clean these uh, or is it tracking issue again how do I do that there's a few guys out there who know about these things. So, please, please, see this Ferguson video star rescued. <coughs> Give me some advice on this, please. In the meantime, because I've got all the projects on here, I'm going to put it back together and it can live downstairs. I must let you know there's no smells, anything. Uh, there was a bit of dust on the inner case, but I've looked in the relevant places and there doesn't seem to be any blown capacities. <laughs> oh, excuse me, or anything, everything looks healthy. So, please, let me know what you think. I should be most grateful. Because I really want this Ferguson video star to work, because it's a natural classic. It's a monster. Thank you very much. Please help.